hello everybody i am back again with another video this time i'm going to show how i create this brow look to make my eyebrows look a lot fuller than they are here are my brows naturally with nothing on them as you can see they need a little work so to start i'm using this nyx brow pencil i will have the colors listed below and the first thing i do is create the shape that i want my natural brows don't have much of an arch, so I use the pencil to make the inner brow start deeper. And then on the tail end, I just connect where the top of the arch is to the end of the brow. So I'm just using short and medium strokes to create the complete shape that I want. And it's pretty much just gonna give you the outline so when we do the next steps, everything will fall into place. So I'm just gonna keep using the short and medium strokes until it's filled in the way I like. And then I use the end, the spoolie end of the pencil to take away any parts where I got a little off track. Kind of like an eraser. So for the front of the brow, you wanna take the pencil from the bottom where you created that line and do just very short strokes upward until it's completely filled in and as you can see I'm just going back and forth still adding in it's kind of hard to do this looking at the camera like I was so normally it, do it doesn't take me long to do this part and I just want to make it as neat as possible so there's less to clean up in the next steps so next I'm going in with the Maybelline Tattoo Studio Brow Gel. This is a waterproof formula and this keeps my brows on all day. I love this gel. Once it dries down, it doesn't move. And I like this formula because it's, it's a gel but it's not like a thick gel so it's very easy to put on the end of my slanted brow brush and still feather in the strokes like I was doing with the pencil. That part is really important because that's how I, I keep them looking as natural as possible. So I'm tilting my head back just to make sure I'm not missing any parts in the front because there's no hair there. So sometimes it's hard to uh, fill it in properly. Now I'm going in with my concealer and a small slanted angled brush to create that sharp, like freshly, freshly arched, freshly waxed look to my brows. And I'm using the finger on my opposite hand to hold the skin tight just so I can make the line crisp. And with the concealer, I don't go too much lighter than my skin tone because I think it looks kind of harsh, but just a tad bit lighter, maybe one or two shades lighter. You don't necessarily have to use the concealer on the top part, um, but if you do want a really sharp looking brow, I would suggest to do that. And then I'm, I'm just using the side of my finger to blend it out because again, I like them to look kind of soft. Um, you're welcome to use a brush if that works for you. So here I'm just doing a little bit of cleanup and taking my pencil once again and I'm just going through and making sure I didn't miss any areas or smudge any areas uh, just to make it look neat. Oh child, look at that difference. Okay, we're gonna have to jump right into the other side because <laughs> this, yeah, huge difference. I'm just repeating the same steps as I did on the other side of the brow. I'm gonna move through this kind of quickly and it is pretty hard for me again to film recording on the camera. So once I finished this brow, I did go into the bathroom so I can like really get up close and see what I'm doing and fix anything that needed a little bit of touch up. But basically it's the same steps as I did on the other brow.
The Maybelline Brow Gel comes with an applicator that I don't really understand. It's almost like those uh, disposable lip lipstick applicators. So I do have my own angled brush that I use to fill it in. I think the slanted brushes make it easier to get uh, sharper lines so that's why I prefer to use those on both filling in my brows and using the concealer to make them look neater. And here we are with the finished brows. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video make sure you turn your notifications on like comment and subscribe thank you again for supporting this channel see you next time